Hey there, and welcome back into your Blood Bowl 3 season finals. American accent felt appropriate, felt right in that moment. Uh, welcome back into uh, our amazing weekend, our Super Saturday here. We've had our very first matchup. There are three more coming your way here, and uh, the next one is going to be an absolute beauty. Am I right, fellas? And sorry, I, I should say as well, sorry for the added two minutes. We put on the timer there as well. Um, Andy was otherwise occupied for a second. Right, Andy? I can't believe I've been shocked live. <laughs> Unbelievable. <laughs> It's, but hey, hey, we're sorry, okay? But blame, blame Andy. It was all him. <laughs> uh, obviously, we've got ourselves uh, this next matchup. We're going to take a look at the teams, actually, for you guys yep. and kind of bring you up to, uh, to, to speed exactly who is going head to head here. Uh, let's take a look at Anarion first and foremost and see exactly what uh, Anarion will be bringing to the party, courtesy of his Black Orcs. Andy. Um, 14 players, uh, a strong competitor, someone who's been on the scene for a long time here. Anarion's looking pretty damn juicy here. This could be a big one. Oh, this is absolutely tipped up. Uh, as we talked to just before we went on the break, uh, the, the two tackle blitzes there could cause him all sorts of trouble by sticking them on the IG3 things that need to dodge away. He's got a block troll with you know, strength five, so he's looking at three dicing things with mighty blow and block, and then just a wall of grab and block for pulling stuff down. The thing that I think is going to be important is whether an Anarian can then isolate things and use a sneaky git goblin to just kill stuff. Right, that, that's the way he's going to win this. If Anarian runs away, uh, sorry, if Art runs away, this could be a problem. If he engages, he's just going to get destroyed. There's a good so. chance that happens. I like that he's got 14 players as well. Uh, we saw the other Black Oak coaches go with 12 players in an Apo. I really like Denarian going for 14 players. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah, okay. Yeah. I think I mean, you said as well about you know, Artemis. We'll take a look at Artemis' lineup as well here. Uh, obviously, in the last round, uh, losing to out to Strider 2 0. We just saw kind of compete there and lose to Diamond there. But what does Artemis have to do here with the Underworld to ensure that he goes through to the next round here? Do you, I mean, you said it. You, said, you, think, you think aggression is not the right play here from Artemis? I think it's got to be controlled aggression. So the, the way to play this out is the Rat Ogre needs to just go and pick things off and then be supported by the rest of the team and run away. I mean, ultimately, he could play a runaway offense and a runaway defense, and that might actually suit an, uh, Artemis better than it suits the Black Orcs. They're so slow. Mm. Issue. Speed is obviously a, a massive factor in this. Yeah, yeah, that's that, that's the big weakness of Black Orcs. They, they do have more players for fouling and stuff than Lizardmen do, um, but they, they're just so slow. So, like, Lizardmen are... Uh, they're, they're like slow Lizardmen in a way, but they do have advantages, and those advantages are actually good against Underworld. So, so in many ways, they're better against Underworld than Lizardmen are, uh, but then I already lost two no Lizardmen. He just <laughs> recklessly went in and, uh, you know, he... he he, he's, you know, he's maybe, he's, maybe it was because of the lack of sleep and stuff. But uh, he, if he plays like he did versus Strider again, he's in for a world of hurt. Yeah. yeah. Do you think? I mean, do you think we talked about character of our players here? And they have different personalities, different kind of character traits when they come, they approach, you know, uh, Blood Bowl. Um, do you think that you have know, some Artemis there? You mentioned that you know, you know, it could be a factor that on the day, the way in which he chooses to play is going to be a, a differentiating factor whether he wins or loses, depending on how he approaches this. And a lot of it comes down to the personal character of the of the coach as well. Yeah, absolutely. And and he claims that there's no such thing as playoff nerves. So it's quite interesting to see that he definitely played differently when I played him in the first round um, and he squeaked past me. I thought he played in a, f a fantastic game and he played, yeah, it was great, yeah, the tip top. And then on the other side of it, he played against Strider and I don't think he played that well at all in comparison to where he can play and you know, th therefore he went out. Yeah, I mean, it's, I mean, within touching distance now of grand finals because it's it is so it's only a couple of, a few games away. Um, do you think for you know for Artemis and Anarion as well? I guess here is you have to kind of play the best of the best to remain in the competition now as well, Jimmy, because everything comes down to this. You you lose, that's it. That it's the end of the road for this particular season finals. Yeah, no second chances apart from the grand final. The whole thing's going to be glorious. <laughs> <laughs> we live for these moments. We knew you guys at home do as well. Like these, these are the, these are the crunch matches, aren't they? They kind of, I guess, kind of add the most like entertainment factor uh, because we know that kind of everything is on the line. Absolutely. I, I, yeah, I wouldn't want to be it, but I would. I'd, I'd be absolutely <laughs> wanting to play these games. These are the ones you would live for. These are the why you play the ladder for three months to get into these sorts of situations, um, and then you can be. You know, you take all the glory. That's right. That's right. It's all about the glory. Again, chat, you are a huge part of this and we love you. Let us know who exactly you think is going to go through to the next round. Will it be Anarion? Will it be Artemis Black here? We are ready almost to go into game and to see exactly who will be going through after this. Uh, it could go to overtime. It could just be the 16 turns. We'll have to wait and see in the seconds here. But let us know. We love hearing from you all. Um, I'm looking forward to this one. I think it's going to be interesting because we said as well, you know, nationalities, races. The great thing about this particular season finals is that there is so many differentiating factors 
practice here because we haven't got kind of like, you know, similar, every, every race is different. It kind of adds a different dynamic. And we're hearing right now that the game is ready to rock and roll. So we're going to dive on in. Let's dive on into the action right here, right now. Uh, and it's time for Artemis versus Anarion. It is going to be a beauty. Trust us. Again, we join Andy and Jimmy for all the good stuff. Thank you very much indeed, Adam. Uh, I'm Predictions, first of all, by the way. I'm going for uh, Anarion. Jimmy? I'm also going for Anarion, yeah. yeah. This, it, w w what's interesting here is Anarion has done or more or less the same setup that Strider made versus uh, Artemis, and I wonder yeah. if he watched that game and like learned from it. And, you know, that's interesting, isn't it? You know, like even in the space of this uh, this short tournament, you know, like obviously Anarion's played loads of games of Blood Bowl, like loads and loads and loads, loads of games of Black Orcs. It, it, you know, relatively speaking, you know, they're still a new team, right? Not not just. Uh, in Blood Bowl 3 to Tabletop as well. They're a very new team. So nobody's played like, you know, nobody's that experienced. For instance, in Ari and much more experienced with Wood Elves. But in this situation, he's he's about as experienced a Black Hawk coach as you can get. And yet still, he's learning from Strider, I think, because I think this is, you know, more or less exactly what Strider did. And uh, it'll be on. It looks like Artemis is also learning <laughs> because the the Rat Ogre is right back here yeah. and he's not just you know, going to blitz a, blitz a Black Orc and then get fouled instantly. So, yeah, we're looking at a Dakar here. And and we talked about this on the on the last time we watched uh, Narian play. We said, what about just sticking seven men all the way along the line of scrimmage and just saying, go on then, you're going to have to dodge. And and I think here, I would have done that, quite possibly. That Because I don't think the kick here changes anything. The gutter is going to pick the ball up and run away with it. Yeah. And I would do that now. So if it fails, you haven't run your half-team and it's six squares in the wrong direction, pick yes. the ball up literally now. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. But we're not doing that. We're going to no. do safe moves first, but they're not that safe because, yeah, you're covering failure state. So the failure state is a, a, you know, a failed ball pickup. So I don't think these two particularly cover that. Yeah, there we go. Now, and Artemis has talked about whether or not you should go and press the... Press the, uh, the, the, the you know, the withdrawn offense or not. I, I sat on the halfway line and decided to not. Um, and he said that that was wrong. He said he should have pushed in. But I was playing with movement five and six players. This is movement four. Are you sitting on the halfway line or are you going to go and pile, it, pile in? God, yeah, it's tough, isn't it? I mean, I, I agree with that, that you do have to pressure it. Um, but yeah, this is like the worst team at pressuring a Dakar probably, right? Movement yeah. seven of them are movement four. One of them is really stupid. This is about as bad as it gets at uh, doing anything on a Blood Bowl pitch that isn't punching things. <laughs> and punching and fouling, brilliant ad. Actually moving around, awful. I mean, there's... there's I, get, I, don't, I guess Dwarves could technically be slower, but it feels like they're not, right? It, yeah. Th these, these just feel so slow, so unresponsive, because the responsive players are so inept. <laughs> you know, a goblin, <laughs> a goblin isn't going to do anything, you know, if, if you break through, whereas at least like a runner could blitz somebody down or something, or a blitzer. A dwarf runner or a blitzer, but but the goblins don't even do anything if they get there. Also, this is how uh, Diomed, I believe, pressured the Daka, wasn't it? Yeah. So so Inarin's now kind of following the footsteps of Strider and Diomed, our two uh, winners, final players, and be interesting. I, some, I, th I think it was you. You said that you liked how Strider pressured it. Yeah, I, I did. Yeah, I, th I thought it was good because um, he he pressed it really quickly, which then forced the issue. Um, it's if you don't pressure it immediately, then turn four and start pressuring it, it's not enough, because that's when they want to start pushing pass anyway. Yeah. Um, one thing he has left himself here, which is no one else has had, which is a throw throw goblin at ball carrier kind of action. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm taking that on. Yeah. That would be incredible, wouldn't it? I mean, he could just score as well. <laughs> yeah. I mean, this is like, look at that bobble box. You throw it at the, at the tackle blitzer there. Yeah. It, every player you hit, you then roll an armor roll for that player and the player, your, yeah, potentially your player, but not until your player's landed. Yeah. So, I, I'd be throwing a goblin at this. Oh man, I'd love it. He's not. Nope, he's just three dice blitzing with block. Double wow. GFI. Wow. Double rush, double rush. And he splats the snotling. So you can't follow this, otherwise your player gets hoofed. You've got to... Doesn't he? <laughs> wow. Double ones. <laughs> well, at least, it wasn't on a, at least it wasn't on a rush. But, I mean, this is the thing about rushing, right? Like, you've only got three re-rolls and you're double rushing. Like multiple players. That's six rushes he's done so far. And we're not done yet. <laughs> yeah, that's a lot of rushes. I'm, I'm not. 
I'm not 100% on board with this from an army. This is a lot of rushing. But then if you, we said that if you just stay there and play passively, then you get into a, a world of trouble. Yeah. I'm not sure about this foul. I mean, obviously you do this foul. Look, it's dead. <laughs> Great foul. <laughs> Great foul, everyone. Yeah. That's, how, that's how you play Blood Bowl. <laughs> um, but yeah, interesting, this kind of almost team split. Like, Also, if he was going to move these guys up. Do it now. Do it yeah. before. Do it before the foul. Yep. Goblin on the flank, then do something on the left flank. I mean, what he has managed to do is, is an Orion's now, yeah, that Rat is not going anywhere. It's just going to get punched in the face with a sneaky git stuck just behind it. Suddenly. Ooh, I'm not sure mm. about giving him the Goblin. No, because now I know where the Rat is going. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, like it was a nightmare for who the, who the Rat hit. Now it's an easy decision who to hit. Yeah, I don't like yeah. that from an Orion. He is weaker over the left side here, right? With a lot less uh, Black Orcs, I assume. Art will like put his team about here. Yeah, yeah. You go. You 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 go now, don't you? Yeah, I think so. You you only need like a few turns with the uh, the underworld. Just protect yourself from the worst of the beatings. I've uh, I've been playing a team. <laughs> funnily enough, a bit of Uber Blood Bowl. I was uh, put, you know putting myself nice. in the the positions of like you know forcing myself to Daka with underworld, no matter the situation, and then you know hopefully trying some one turns. Uh, you know two weaknesses of my game. Um, so, yeah, thanks for that. <laughs> and, uh, I've ultimately reinvented the whole game. I mean, that, that, that's ultimately what I've done there. But, uh, yeah. but yeah, I mean, thank you're welcome. You're welcome, you're welcome yeah. Jimmy. Yeah. Um, but it's, uh, no, it's, I mean, I think, you know, learning so much as I have in recent times, Dakers and all sorts, you know, changing things uh, up, I think it just feels to me like a really kind of easy tool to kind of navigate kind of Understanding, kind of like at its core, the intrinsic nature of different plays and ways. Yeah, I think I think it's I think it's a cool idea. Yeah, we like keep bringing it. it up, so it must be something. Yeah, I yeah. like it. Yeah, like the only problem is is you know like how do you do it? That's the problem. You yeah. know, like if if there was a great AI that we could practice against, then I'm sure we'd all be practicing against the AI at least a little <laughs> yeah. bit. Uh, the, the the problem that we need is, is is you know like getting somebody to help us practice, and so that's why I went well if. There's two things I can always practice online, which is, uh, uh, you know, a DACA, an offensive DACA with Underworld. And, it, uh, you know, I find out how tricky it well, was. I knew mm -hmm. it would be tricky, but it's amazing finding out just how tricky it is. It it's really is a, a tough thing, you know, when you're, you're relying on Goblin Dodgers a lot. Um, your, your clan rats are essentially useless a lot of the time. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's, it's, a, it's a weird team, and, like, your, your most mobile players are the slowest. Like, your Snotlings, two plus dodge everywhere, but they're only movement five. It's, it's a real tricky team to... Uh, to just you know get them the absolute max out of mm. you know of course I could just play like you know like a dummy and, <laughs> and hit people with a claw rat ogre which is funnily enough what Art's done <laughs> but uh, you know it's getting the absolute most of it very tricky very tricky team to, uh, and you know the good thing is you can just you know block and foul with them every turn and mm. you'll, you'll do pretty well but uh, it's it really interesting to you know to master them completely and whether Art has or not I guess we'll find out J oh. J Jimmy you know you're good with probabilities yep Let's talk AI for a second here. How close are we to ultimately Skynet taking over the world if we all become, we all become slaves <laughs> to the Terminators? I mean, what's the probability here? I think that's more likely <laughs> than a good Blood Bowl AI. <laughs> when I say good, that's I mean more top. Likely. I mean top, you know? like yeah. What I think the Blood Bowl, Blood Bowl AI should be is something new players can play and you know have a reasonable game against. Yeah. I, th I I think there's no real demand for a you know a blood ball stockfish you know telling us the absolute perfect plays. Um, yeah. But that's really hard, right? That's really hard when you think how much more complex blood ball is than chess. It's like it's unbelievable the amount of moves you can make and then all the dice. The dice would make the the learning harder for the AI, wouldn't it? You know, like because it would yeah. it would do moves and they'd be right, but then they'd be wrong because of the dice and the, yeah. So that that would add a layer of complexity for the the AI as well. So yeah, yeah, I think bet on Skynet. <laughs> bet, bet on Skynet. <laughs> so you heard it there, folks. It, it, that right ogre is going to get kicked in the face. So long as the block big and black orc uh, knocks it over. Um, that's a bazillion assist foul. Well, the problem is the uh, the assist, right? He, he's going to have to no, just tackle grab it. blitz. Grab it. But he's going to have to tackle blitz. No, but, he's going to grab it. Yeah, but it's, it's not so good, is it? He's going to have to tackle blitz to get more assists if he wants max assists. It's, oh. Oh, uh, oh, no, it's not going to get fouled. It's oh, actually not getting fouled word. at all, Andy. <laughs> no. Um. Badly, it's badly hurt, isn't it? Oh, nope, seriously, seriously hurt. hurt. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. It was seriously <coughs> hurt. Put the apple in anyway. 
Wow, and the apple fails. It's dead, Jim. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Turn three. And, you know, Art will probably be fuming about this, it claiming diced, but uh, it was, you know, it was going to get at least three assist fouled. Maybe four. Maybe <laughs> blitz the maybe blitz the goblin. But wow. Wow. It's actually odd. From, from France, we can hear Art just, just echoing slightly. <laughs> it, it's odd. Just ranting in the yeah. background. <laughs> yeah, I can hear it. Yeah, I'm sure I heard a really game. <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's in a world of trouble already. I mean, I know the gutter's bazillion movement and can, and can possibly drag him out, but the tackle Blackhawk is going to be piling forwards, uh, you know, diagonally back into the center. He can bring the goblin. He hasn't moved on the far right. That can come in. And then suddenly that gutter runner is a little bit you know, stuck. Yeah, yeah this, that's, that's really nice. Is this courtesy of Art's gung-ho-ism to a degree? Um, I thought it was... It, we we, we criticised Anorian for his millions of go-for-its, but actually that's what's got him into this situation. That yeah. the, the, the oodles of go-for-its that he was prepared to put the re-rolls in. Uh, and then, yeah, he, he wasn't, like, oh, it was absolutely unlucky, right? Rattoga gets hit one time, it's one in four to have its armor broken, and then on top of that, it's about one in six to get it casualted. Yeah. So, a one in four, one in six, one in 24 to go poof. Um, <laughs> yeah, 4%. 4%. Gosh, such fine margins. But what, what difference make it, it but, is? But it's happened to him in all the rounds, um, <laughs> so it's not surprising that on one of those rounds, one of them's gone bang. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah, the thing was, he was going to get the big gang foul afterwards, right? So yeah. while it yeah, was yeah. unlucky to go off the block, it was almost guaranteed to then be a foul afterwards, uh, a big foul afterwards. So yeah, he was in he was in problems, and yeah, it was it was thanks to the uh, the offense from Inarian, yeah, for sure. So th I think this almost answers like, how do you play the Dakar? We've seen me sit on the halfway line and play the passive approach because I feel as though that was safer. But actually, the Right, if you're going to pull back, I'm going to go absolutely ham and try and get into your face immediately. And suddenly, this board state looks incredibly un unfavorable. I know the rat ogre is off, and that's even worse, but that's why we're here. Mm. Okay. Ooh, wrestle. Yeah. I think he's... Is he going to try and foul his way out of this? I don't know what he can do. <laughs> I just don't know. <laughs> I just don't know. Just try and stay alive. Just desperation. It's ev every turn's desperation from out now, isn't it? Yeah. Wowzers. Actual desperation, just every turn. I, it's Yeah. T Tiemann says he's going to screen in the middle. I think you're right. I think you've got to swing. If you're not going up the flank and three-plusing your way through, you want to go... Yeah, so he's going over there. Look, he's already made himself a box. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Seeing in the chat here as well, Segs. Yes, this, in this is indeed the loser's bracket. Yeah, we've got this match up here. Uh, and uh, later on, we have uh, Cool Troop versus Hiru. And the decider of these two matchups... Uh, we'll go head to head to then face Strider in the lower bracket final. We have our grand finals tomorrow as well, but this is uh, this is most certainly the lower bracket indeed. This is a lot of dodges from this good uh, runner, isn't it? If he get, I think if he gets a power here, he's all oh. He doesn't get the <laughs> power. <laughs> Reroll. Reroll. Yeah, he could. He's got four. You've got it. You've got it. Nah, because the the failure state there's two percent to get a double skulls and get sunk. The, you've got to, you've got to do that minimum to get the got a runner into that box. It, you can't get into the box now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. GFI, GFI. You can't even get into the box. Oh dear. <laughs> so now he's got to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So he's got to literally do the four, a four plus two plus. Now. And if you and you can't not do it because the tackle uh, Blackhawk there is <laughs> you have to go behind the screen. Yep. Oh, oh. oh my double, word. He double wand. He made the four plus dodge and then double wand the two plus dodge. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, wow. Wow. And, well, I mean, and that then is that's a... getting fouled next, right? <laughs> yeah. Where's the sneaky git goblin? <laughs> it's right up there. Yep. This yeah. is this is the, 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 the gutter runner without an apple getting gang fouled for the rest of the half. <laughs> yes. <laughs> this is, oh, wow. Wow. Looks like Jim's finally got one right. <laughs> <laughs> Unbelievable. 
Yeah, what, what, what is the probability of that then, Jimmy? That were you getting something right prediction-wise? Well, 217,000 to one? <laughs> I don't know what, they, what, yeah. what it is at this point. Before this tournament, it was pretty good to me. Oh, oh. wow. Hey. Hey. Like, blocking with tackle wasn't good here. It did... No, it did push him away, though. I mean, you it was 4% of 4% to go horribly wrong. Equally, do you want to allow the 4% of the 4%? Probably not. I mean, you could just blitz up, right? This yeah, yeah. Could just blitzed up. There was really, uh, didn't didn't like that, right? Because, you know, the goblins don't have block. So you either hit, you hit with block and you hit with tackle. It's exactly the same. Mm. Exactly the same odds yeah. of, of getting the knockdown. So the block is just safer. So there was kind of no reason not to just make that blitz with block. In Love fact, it. probably better to blitz with the block because then you push him up here. If it's a if it's not a pow, then you get to base him with tackle. Oh. So it's a probably better oh. positionally. Yeah, gets the gets the pickle. Is he now? He's out of rerolls though. Mm. So this he is. Wow. So if, if Art can keep his head and just try and force some dice somehow, um, this isn't toast. No. Unless this dies. Unless this dies, yeah. Which doesn't it doesn't. Die. <laughs> So yeah, Art really has to put everything into stopping this continuing. <laughs> he needs yeah. to not this guy to not get fouled every turn. Um, he could maybe try a chain push, chain push the goblin out to hit him right. Uh, dodge in here, uphill block, and then yep. chain him out. Here it. He's already dodged in. Interesting that Art moved that almost immediately, right? That that's the sign potentially of someone not necessarily thinking through everything as as, as choices. He's playing really quickly, really quickly. Yeah. What one thing I like to try and do is yeah, in situations like this, take a breath. Don't do anything. He's got he's still got his in, yeah, his time bank. Yeah. Just 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 take a beat. Yep. These two could have just stood up, couldn't they? Yep. We'll start. You know, something he always says, and like maybe they are going to dodge out at the end. But. Uh... So he's chained the ball out. That's nice. Now he's got 1D on the ball with a 3-plus dodge because the tackle blitzer can now hit it. If he wants the goblin dodge, he can make that two dice. Yeah, he's going to goblin dodge, isn't he, for sure? Yeah. Like, yeah, I just, he just has to goblin dodge, I think, the 1 in 9. And it's, <laughs> he fails the 1 in 9. We've just seen Strider like, make 6 in a row. Art fails the first one. He, first no, one. the second one he tries, wasn't it? Second. Yeah. But, but with the... With an Orion, this is now where t turn ordering is so important because he's got no rerolls, there is no safety net, and yeah. the ball is not safe. So you've got to put that ball somewhere safe now. Um, yeah, and, and what is the biggest threat? I would say it's that tackle blitzer. I w does does that play make the ball safer? I don't know. Yeah, it's interesting, isn't it? I think I feel like he's still playing for max damage. Well, I feel like he, he should have. He he didn't instantly adapt, as you said. He should have done. And, and normally, I feel like people play better when they're down to zero rerolls, because mm. then they have to do the ordering, as you say. They have to focus. They have to make sure everything's correct. When you've got the safety net of the reroll, you don't have to. Oh, one in thirty-six, I'll have to reroll this. One in twelve nine six, it'll fail. That's all you need to care about. You know, if you're going to reroll, if you've got three rerolls, well, you just think, well, one in twelve nine six, I'll, you know, it's just not worth thinking about. And yeah. it, it's right often a lot of the time, you know. And the, there's probably more than the times you'll quad skull, you'll gain some advantage for delaying your decision making on the ordering. So, so like you do actually gain from not making safe moves first, which is one of the interesting things. But, but generally, I think people play more solid when they're down rerolls because they will make sure that this uh, turn ordering is 100% spot on. Yeah, this is this is nice. He's now in scoring range without rolling dice. Yeah. And then he's going to foul the gutter runner again. Yes. <laughs> And that's nice as well, yeah, isn't it? Yeah. Keeping these guys bracketed. Yeah. And foul from there. Doesn't Ooh. break armor. That's interesting. Isn't it? Maybe he should have did, done that. I don't know. He had, he had to get the foul in. Yeah. Maybe he should have fouled from there and then done the dodge to there afterwards. Yeah. That might have been a little bit better, but... Wow, I bet, I bet Ard's happy to get his get his gutter away now. <laughs> yeah, just dig him out. Might have to give up a half. Like... Yeah, because he's not. I mean, he's, he's got sixteen players. So although he's Ratto good down, 
he is still going to have a full 11. And if you lose the... Then the Gutterrunner having block means that he can dive a goblin if he has to. Yep. Yeah, this is not, not totally done. <clears throat> what, what Art showed in his in his last game versus Strider is like, you know, he, he started off terribly and he started to play a bit better, but at the end he was still super conservative, you know, it was still just like blitz with a mighty blow guy and try and in incrementally increase his position, but he's he's got to eventually start going for, you know, like crazy three pluses in to one dice the ball and stuff. Yeah. Well, here, here comes some crazy three you know, stuff. Yeah. 2D up, uphill with a goblin. Does that do anything for him? Um, if he fills this in as well, you could punch him in there, in there, in there to pitch in him out, right? But it's through tackle again. So, yeah. This one, into this one, into this one, and he's out. So, yeah. Okay. And he then has you, to uphill it. Yeah, it's uphilling, and then the, and then it's a three-plus dodge from the tackle blitzer, presumably, again. Uh, no, no, the wrestler. The wrestler can just hit, right? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And if you can get the power, the ball could go bloody anywhere. The gutter runner could run off, and you could still think, wow, that was genius. Yeah, the, the, the hard part is just do you just 4 plus 2 plus the gutter off <laughs> first before the uphill? And he doesn't. Oh, he that's gets it. the both down. Take the both down here. Yeah. So now he's getting the gutter probably fouled even more, more. now. <laughs> yeah. And the player surfed as well. He didn't, uh, didn't move that. Tackle Blitzer. So we're potentially getting a surf and an even bigger foul. And the, the Tackle Blitz is one of the ones that now, now the Rattler is gone, it's probably, what, third on my hit list of players I don't like. Got to run a second. Um, I mean, Gutter's first. It's just that yeah. it, you're, much, you're, much le you're much less likely to get the chance of the Gutter than the, than the Roger. Yeah. The, ro the Roger, I mean, the Roger is powerful and it's, it's, you know, a lot of TV. It's... It's expensive. It it does, it does things. You know, it's something you worry about it, right? You worry about the rat ogre, but it's not like it's not as game winning singularly as as the gutter runner is. Yeah. But, you know. <laughs> he's taking that in for the foul. Wow, he's not doing the surf. Kind of outrageous, isn't it? Yeah. Um... Well, he's out of rerolls, I suppose. I mean, does that does that change anything here? Maybe. Not for me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm definitely making that serve. I mean, I I, I tend to uh, you know err on the side of caution, but I'm definitely 100% trying that surf. Yeah. I mean, not making it. I can't say I've been making that surf. <laughs> We've yeah. all seen my dice, but uh, <laughs> I would certainly try it. Yeah. Now the foul. Okay. Oh, well. Yeah, make the block first. And then follow that up as well so that, yeah, you remove the tackle from being a problem. Yeah. Do not leave that based. <laughs> oh. Kaz, nice. And the foul. Seen and blood, a only stun. a stun. Yeah. Right. Wow, wow this is rough for Ard. I wonder if he should have 4 plus 2 plus the gutter before he did the uphill. Like, it's kind of terrible ordering in, in terms of you're about to pop the ball so you move your gut runner. Like, that seems idiotic, but, you know, stopping more gang fouls was, was pretty good. Yeah. It, it'd be interesting to see if he actually chooses now, because he's still got a couple of rerolls left. Is he going to dodge the snotling and fill in the square below the ball? Again, stand up the, 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 the whatever it is lying down, and then do the same. It's basically the same thing again, uphills to push the ball out to try and sack it. Yep. But this time, you've got no recovery because the gutter's stunned. I still think he has to because what else is he going to do? He hasn't got a one turn because this this was his drive. <laughs> yeah. If he was on defense, I think he gives up a few turns ago and has four rerolls for the, the one turn. But I think he's got to keep doing it. He's got to throw everything at it, hasn't he? Yeah. Nice to see him throwing at it this time, right? You know, I like at the game versus Strider, he just, he just did the safe, the safe hits. And that, yeah, I guess he hasn't really had the safe hits to make this game. But... um. Nice to see him just going more yeah. for it. Yep, yep, I agree. It's going to be expensive if it fails again, though. Yep. Oh, wow. 
Oh, wow. Oh. Wow. Oh dear. Oh, so, um, <laughs> is this going to be done before half time? <laughs> <laughs> well, look at that. Look at the line of injuries and, and players kind of counting on the sidelines. I mean, six, we're with 16 players, right? Art, but still, <clears throat> so many of the injured he has placed on the field. But another one knocked into the knocked into the crowd. It's just injured. Oh, oh huge goodness! That's his tackler <laughs> gone. Oh dear. Oh no. One, two, three, four. Four gone permanently. Uh, and, and 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 the good ones as well. Yeah. Oh, five, five. gone permanently. <laughs> <laughs> so he's capped at 11 now, Art. Wow. That is an unbelievable half for an Aria. Yeah. That unbelievable. Really Though I predicted that he would get do a lot of damage. I don't think it'd be this much damage. <laughs> yeah, like, this, this is, is significant. It's actually unbelievable. Like, this is really unbelievable. Th this is like me doing damage, like levels of like, <laughs> yeah. really? Yeah. How, really? How, how difficult is it to, as you can see, you know, he's the center of the field there, kind of keeping that, uh, the, the, the ball and, and keeping his carrier protected. How much harder is it kind of defending the center of the field to, uh, to, uh, uh, compared to like the left or the right hand side? Is it kind of a lot tougher because there's a lot more space around yeah. you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. G generally speaking, the, the center is the center gives you more options, but at the same time, it then costs way more resource yeah. to defend. Yeah, yeah. Brawler. He's got, block. he's got block. block. Don't brawl it. Irata. Irata, Irata. I'm surprised he went for the ball down with the troll versus the wrestler, right? That was he's, pretty interesting. He's kind of left Inari in a... Sorry, he's left Art a bit of a chance here. I, wh where are you putting the ball? Yeah, I don't know. Well, there's a, there's a, there's a wrestle, wrestle rat. There's a wrestle right here, yeah. And there's another wrestle which he hasn't broken armor on, which the troll blitzed. And he's got sent off. And he's sent off. So it's just an instant one, two... Oh, Three, Inarian, four, what have you five, done? Six, seven, double GFI. Yeah. Two dice on the ball with Russell. Wow. Yeah, 55% double GFI. Wow. Is there a three plus dodge in there, or is it just a double GFI? Double GFI. Wowzers. That's, uh. Whew. <laughs> whew. Maybe he shouldn't have, you know, maybe that was over blocking, right? You know? Yeah, I think it was. Because he could have just. This, this guy could have just gone here and he could have gone oh. one back. Oh, what? Wait, what? Oh, uh. that's the better play, obviously, Jim, right? <laughs> what? <laughs> I don't know why Art did that, but it's worked. <laughs> I probably gave up. I guess he just gave up, right, with a tackle gone and down, maxed capped at 11 players. He just thought, I'll just do this because it's stupid and funny, I guess. <laughs> wow. If Anorian doesn't go on and win this, that turn is probably... Well, it's pivotal. I can't believe... Yeah. You, you, what? Makes no sense. No. <gasps> but tackle her. Brawler, wait. Brawler, yeah. Brawler, Brawler. yeah. Brawler, yeah, Brawler yeah. his Brawler. way out of it. Oh, my Into goodness. dead, obviously. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> what are we watching here? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> What are we watching here? Oh, what are you going to deal with it? Why didn't he what? grab him out of the way? <laughs> He's going to scatter. He is going to scatter. Um, I mean, this is risky to scatter. He's done so much damage that he, he might be okay. But what what if the wrestler catches it? Like, how does he even blitz what? this guy? Why would GFI? You, why wouldn't you follow? Um, I don't know. And he has to GFI, right? He just has to GFI with this guy. You bring. You can do it with goblins, I suppose. I suppose. One of them's got to pick it up to score, though. So. so, guy lying down just stands up. Guy in the middle walks forward. Guy marking wrestler punt blitzes and then picks it up. Well, then he's got to make a dodge if he just gets yeah. a push, right? Uh, blitz it sideways. Well, then... So, he's, he stands up. And the, then dodges? No, no, he just stands up. The oh, goblin... he just goes around. But Yeah, he goes to here. No, no, no. no. Uh, this one goes to here. And he stands up. I mean, or you do that. Yeah, the GFI. I think the GFI has, like, better payoff. I don't know why, or, but I felt like it was better, even though it was a one in six. Because he's got block, right, instead of the wrestle. What? That's... Yeah, yeah, this is fine. Uh. Rolls a two. It's not fine. And somehow Inarion does not convert five removals, <laughs> <laughs> including, you know, three of the best players for Art. Um, oh, my word. The Tackler, the Sneaky Git, and the Rat Ogre, all gone. Um, 
failed offense for Art. And now Inarian gets the ball this time. Back up to three re-rolls. But Art, you know, probably doesn't have such doesn't really have a one turn anymore, right? No. Ten players. He's not an expert one turner. He's lost his rat ogre, so And the goblins need to get smushed here, aren't they? Yeah. Yeah. Do not use the tackle. The tra ta the tackle's a trap, isn't it? Just don't yeah. use the tacklers. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, the tackle actually isn't good at hitting. It's it's good at marking and making them dodge. Yeah. You know, he's probably really rattled about how that badly that went for him. <laughs> well, <laughs> <laughs> we we talked a lot about um, one turns and how I think even last weekend we were talking about. Um, Art need that's one of the area of his game with Underworld that he needs to really work on those those kind of side of things. Um, again, does it come down to personality, to character, whether or not you kind of take that on board and go, yeah, I, you're right, you identified an area that I really need to work on, or is it um, not believing that he needs to focus on that enough because it's not as big a part of the game as other aspects? I, I think there's an element of uh, any stream or yeah, any any other you know, personalities. I think sometimes if someone else goes, uh, Addy, uh, have you? You noticed you're uh, really bad at that, effectively. <laughs> um, like, yeah, it, it, the first your first reaction, and it is, it is this human reaction, is um, <clears throat> without swearing, is uh, off you. Uh, yeah, jog. Yeah, jog. Thank you. Uh, so, so, where's the guy picking the ball up? I mean, with our He's movement just fourteen. Moved him. He's just moved him. With our movement fourteen, we're we're going ten and one. And I kind of hate a game that the ta the tackle is blocking. Right, the block should be yeah, blocking. 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 Um. Yeah, yeah I'm, I'm playing this super cent carefully. Yeah, sorry, it, it is that you would want to be, no, you're wrong, right? And then you'll find reasons why that person's wrong rather than taking it on board yeah. because there's probably a kernel of truth there, right? You can think that they've over-egged it, but they're probably right. Their spot is something that's clearly a weakness, otherwise they wouldn't have said it. Mm -hmm. So do, do something about it. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah I, I, funnily enough, I always listen when, you know, people say, like, something that I disagree with. I always think, well, what if they're right? And uh, the, the natural human reaction is, of course, to say, no, you're wrong, I'm right. But, yeah. uh, uh, I mean, Art does appreciate that he doesn't. he's not that good at one turn and he needs to work on it. But what he said was, it's just basically not worth the effort. He doesn't think that, like, you know, it doesn't add enough percentages to his chances to win for the amount of effort it would take. Mm -hmm. And... Uh, I don't know how true that is. Honestly, I think it makes quite a big difference. And he, he didn't build into the one turn because he didn't think the one turn was that important. But I think it is. I think mm. now, in a way, his, his practice on the ladder, you know, isn't isn't that too relevant, right? He, he was playing yeah. on the ladder. And his, the, his play on the ladder is versus people not as good as Strider, not as good as Inarian, you know. And, and they're thinking about keeping their team alive, not just winning at all costs. So, the, you know, totally different game playing on the ladder with progression, yeah. di different goals for e different people and all, all sorts of different things when you're playing on the ladder. Really nothing like this. So I, w I wonder how much um, how much he underestimated how important the one turn was and how much, win you know, OK, it only adds one or two percent win rate. But in the games themselves that it matters, it matters a huge amount, mm -hmm. a huge amount. Like, yeah. you know, if, if you're playing versus Strider um, and let's say you're... 48 percent to win and he's 52 percent to win if if you're rubbish at one turns <laughs> that isn't rubbish that isn't rubbish at one turns but let's say he was rubbish for argument's sake if you're 48 percent being rubbish at one turns that single matchup will can then swing to you being 52 percent if you're if you're good at one turns and and while okay it's only going to make one percent to your overall win rate that individual game it will swing by quite a bit yeah and then obviously if you score it it, it you know wins oh, you God, the game yeah, of course so yeah. Yeah, I think he did underestimate it there. So there you go. Reroll gone from an Aryan here. Down to two, but pretty sensible, right? Pretty sensible. He's he's got the goblins back. Splitting the team isn't so relevant because only the only the gutter can move <laughs> for the for the underworld. Uh everyone else is really slow. Plenty of tackle about. So yeah. you just gotta be pretty sensible here, Art, I think. I'm kind of curious to see how he's actually going to plan on playing this out because it, n normally Adam, well, yeah, you use the Rat Ogre to do stuff, especially on defense, because what you're trying to do is just go around and just systematically chip things away, sure. okay. bring things down to six, seven, eight players, and then you can play with your advantage. But Art doesn't have that luxury, and his players are just fundamentally worse than Anarians. Yep. So yeah. it, it, it's really tricky. Like This, this is it, really hard. Yeah. Yeah, he almost doesn't have an angle. The only angle he has is this player here. <laughs> yeah. Who's one dice blitzing and sculling. 
and he's going to go and try and presumably put pressure on the ball because it, uh, Art's probably thinking to himself, this is the way I force this, right? I force some form of bad luck from Renarian and then I can capitalise, make it 1-0. Sure. I'll force overtime, see what happens. He's actually out of range of the tacklers here, which is lovely, isn't it? Completely yeah. out of range of getting hit he, by the tacklers. Yeah. I think he's got to go and tag at least one of those goblins. I don't think he can get both, can he? No, he can't. So the, the goblins is going to blitz the gutter runner off and then the ball carrier will go and make friends with all the players on the halfway line. Yeah, he's got this goblin as well, so he can actually three dice purely with goblins. <laughs> Jeez. Which is pretty funny. I, and, I, and you I do as well, don't you, right? You don't want the one in 81 to just be embarrassed when you are so dominant. Yeah. Costs I, a bit of position, but do it. It depends. It depends. You've, you've got to think about the cage, I guess, and, and exactly where it's going to be. Um, so, yeah. I don't know whether he has done or not. Mm, he's now pinned another one of his goblins. No, oh, no. No, no, he's okay. Right, so he's going to go left of where your cursor is there, I think. Yeah, yeah he's going to go up here. And he, he's, he can make a full cage still. I don't know why he's not one over. Yeah, I wouldn't offer the opportunity for chain pushing. No, shenanigans is not something you want. I mean, he's already been, you know, Ard's already been chain pushing the hell out of him. So it's uh, interesting. Yeah, so he's going to go for, what, a, a, a wider cage? He's got to, yeah, he's got to extend it past this goblin. He's got to, like, have two players here. At least. This is strange. Yeah. Now you're activating the troll if it fails. Like, why didn't you bring one of the two players at the far top right of our picture down, not the tackler, so then the tackler could go and be somewhere more useful? I mean, the tackler's on two goblins, which is pretty good. Uh, fair. Um, this troll didn't go here, though. No, his left made a gap. I guess there's not there's nothing that can even benefit from an uphill, actually, is there? <laughs> to be fair, Art hasn't got anything left. <laughs> but still, I feel like, you know, the troll won over is just better. I don't... Yeah, just, just don't leave a cage. Because the gutter runner could then potentially two uphill as well. So you've left two uphill, two uphill. And, and what exactly has Artemis got here? That's, that's the, that's the trade-off. Very little. Yeah. Well, like, what 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 does the what does the troll being here gain you? I don't really understand what he thinks it gives him. Right. Yeah. He must have thought it gave him something to do it. I guess it screens with the tackler an extra layered screen, but you don't need an extra layer of screen. Yeah. Weird. So he's going to send it in. Now the gutter runner has got one dice on the ball because you take this this snotling cancel out the cage corner. Yeah. And then now you're on a four plus for sacking the ball. If you wow. go one one here, like one nil down would be criminal. 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 <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I think Inarian's invited a little bit, like the, not more than a little bit. He opened it, it he opened he rolled down the red he rolled out the red carpet with it with moving this troll. Yeah. I'd say it'd be deserved if anything. Mm. Yeah, I, I would. Oh, Inarian. Oh dear. Could this be Anaria making a public apology on Facebook? Is that what this is coming down to? This is, this is like what has to happen. Oh. Oh. It was a cunning plan from Anarian <laughs> to lure in the gutter runner, waste a reroll, and then get genius. gang fouled to death. <laughs> the man's a genius. Next level strategies. <laughs> wow. Oh my god, he's blocked with a tackle again. Uses the team reroll, yep, doesn't rely on Brawler. Wise. Yeah, I mean, not as wise as just blocking him with block, but yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, or putting the ball somewhere safe first. Yep. Block. I wonder how much this is like playoff nerves from Inarian, right? Like, the, the first half went so well. Yeah. Should have been 1 0 up, and like, maybe he's like tilting a little bit uh, with the pressure and stuff. Another one gone. He's not going to have much left to foul with. Because presumably you're going to foul the gutter runner here. Like, you should just be fouling it every turn until it's dead. I mean, not 100% of the time, Andy. <laughs> there, there are occasions... No, I'm just joking. Like, it's turn a, 16, you don't foul on turn 16. It's 1,000% of the time <laughs> you foul this guy. 
<laughs> yeah. Of course, you like you have to. It's basically the law. Okay. You can make a full cage and then dodge off to foul. Yeah. I mean, he, he just literally has to. This is. Here we go. It's blood, so it's broke. And it's out. <coughs> eek. Sent eek. off. Not sent off, argues wow. the call. Is that? That is, for me, the worst brawl in Blood Bowl 2020. Argue the call. What? It's a great rule, and I hate it. <laughs> I love it. I actually love it. It's so Blood Bowl. It's oh, so Blood it's Bowl. It's like so Blood Bowl. Yeah, it's so Blood Bowl. <laughs> oh. <laughs> it's amazing, you know, like the, the coach intimidates the referee and, and he don't send off your player. Like, that's yeah. fantastic. If there's no better feeling, there's literally no better feeling than when, you, when your player gets sent off and you argue the call. It's, it's oh, it's glorious. Cole Knight reckons it one a one should be worse and a chat a split. Right, chat, we don't need to split here. We just need to be agreeing that it's terrible. <laughs> I, love, I love that the chat has turned back into the 90s was the best decade. I, I mean, <laughs> yeah. it, it was a good time. I had a good time in the 90s. I enjoyed it immensely. Yeah. Good times. Yeah, it was all right. I used to walk around with a, with a Tamagotchi on a keychain. That's right. I was one of those guys. <laughs> Living the dream. Oh, mine always died. I didn't feed it enough. <laughs> yeah, that was a big problem. Well, or, it, uh, or it would quite literally poop ex itself ex to death. excrete itself to death. Yeah. <laughs> that just... which is genius, really. Yeah. Oh, it's pooed itself to death. I oh, mean, well. oh, I mean, it's life or, lessons or, for kids. Life lessons. Or it's run out of battery, all right, and it died that way. That's... I could have sworn I read an article once that someone found one after like 20 years that the battery was still going strong and it was still just going yeah. about its business. I thought, that's amazing. What? I so yeah, I looked after broken. mine and it died within a few days and left on its own device, literally on its own device, and it survived for 20 years. It got bored of you. <laughs> oh, it got bored right. of you. It was like, I'm done with this guy, this this crazy cat. I can't stand this any longer, this it, Andy Davo guy. It would rather kill itself than be looked after by me. <laughs> Just quietly, Art has used all four of his rerolls in three turns nice. to absolutely zero effect. Um, no, it's not zero effect. The gut runner's out. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, this is uh, looking bad for him, isn't it? Yeah. It's been looking bad for him for quite a while now. <laughs> yeah, but yeah. Just, but Naran just simply has, didn't capitalise when the opportunity presented itself, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's very true. Yeah. yeah is, is that is that, do you think Anaran taking his eye off the ball, maybe for a second, thinking, I'm doing, I'm so dominant here right now, I, I'm just I, not following through, or just not, not allocating... Oh, another injury. That, that is something that you do, you know, that is something, but again, it shouldn't be here. Like, there's no excuse for doing it here. It's something you do when you're autopiloting through a, you know, through an eight hour stream. You're like, oh, everything's going great, you know, and I don't, yeah, I've won this game. And then, <laughs> and then you're like, whoops, I've left on a 3 3 2, and, and, you know, something's happened. So, so it is the sort of thing that you, but he shouldn't, like, there's no excuse for doing it here, you know, like, this is the biggest stage, isn't it, in, in Blood Bowl? Yeah. So. But what what might happen though is in game two of this, right? So you've played, you've already played game one, and then in game two you get in this situation, that you could maybe get playoff nerves or just get tired, right? Fatigued. That, but this shouldn't be happening now. He, an Arian should be absolutely one nil up. Yeah, yeah, really nice use of an Arian. Like this, this the troll position this half was horrendous, and the 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 cage on turn seven was horrendous. <laughs> there were two big mistakes from an Arian, but. Uh, I mean, it looks like he's going through for sure, doesn't it? This is unbelievably strong position. Yeah. I mean, look, look at the injuries that have been sustained to Artemis. <laughs> yeah. It's just it's wild. He's, he's left it's another a he's left team. A... It's a literal whole team. Wow. Is that another one? Toss another one on the pile. Oh, no. sent off. Oh, and actually sent off. He's, but he's left another... Oh, yeah. no, he's got, oh, got no players left. I was about to say he's left two dice on the ball. But not he's, with left that, he's left that base when he could have just put not that left, left it based. Yeah. Well, put, well, put that to the left-hand side of it, yeah. so it doesn't matter. Yeah, well, e either, either one of these two players could have stood here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they didn't. So what gets his pal? The problem is he's got literally nothing, nothing to left. take <laughs> Has he got four players? Five players? Oh, Six players? Yeah, I yep. guess he puts the snotling in, and then he three three threes for a two D. Mm. Three three two for a two D. I mean, and then wishes he could pick it up. Yeah, then he's oh, he's got I've got no one left to pick it up. 
take take me into the world of Artemis right now. What's what's happening in 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 his wherever he is in the world? Well, hang on a second. If you take one head cup off, you can probably hear it slightly. <laughs> oh, that's so what that is. Yeah, yeah, that's what that <laughs> I is. I thought it was like yeah. a pneumatic drill close by, but obviously <laughs> no, no, no. I was mistaken. No, no. But for a detailed explanation, I'll hand you over to Jimmy. Well, actually, the pneumatic drill that you can hear is Kalon. <laughs> <laughs> he's from Ireland. <laughs> that's, that's the, that, he's the pneumatic drill of Blood Bowl. Um, Artemis, yeah, you know, luckily he hasn't got, you know, any pets because of that. There's, there's nothing getting, <laughs> nothing getting kicked, but... Um, yeah, he's probably not very happy. Yeah, it, you know, he'll feel really hard done by, right? Because if you lose because of the dice and then, like, you know, they make the mistakes that would let you back into it and you're like, if only he hadn't rolled the dice, <laughs> I, yeah. you know, he's, he's, he's made these plays, I could have won. Um, now, I think I think in Arian, there was an extent of because he got those dice and he got in that spot, so that's why he got sloppy and careless. Um, you know, maybe he would have played a lot better. Like, he played really well until he was really far ahead. Mm. Yeah. And then he started playing a bit rubbish, honestly, like a few, a few rubbish turns after he'd already thought he'd won. So the first few turns were really aggressive, really strong play. And then, yeah, maybe he, maybe he took his eye off the ball a little bit. Um, He's going to have to ball carry a block here. I mean, he'll probably kill. Oh, yeah. I was, <laughs> yeah, I'm not even finishing that sentence. What a surprise. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Another one bites the dust. Yep. This is this has been quite a decimation. This has been like a. Is this like a display of an Aryan saying, "Let me show you my might, <laughs> <laughs> little... my skills." It's yeah. This is it, it's it's how Blood Bowl can sometimes just very heavily uh, tilt and, and yeah. tip because once you get a bit far ahead, then your opponent has to take more risks. If they fail, then you go even further ahead, and it just snowballs from that point of view. Sure. Yeah, uh, but as Jimmy's saying, you need to be playing really super carefully because otherwise, yeah, he's left another two dice on the ball here, unless he fouls. Ah, oh, there we go. Right. Yeah. Fixed. Yeah. But the troll being stupid, that whole left flank of the ball carrier, wide open. I mean, he's still he's still got this guy, right? Yeah. He's is he? There, yeah. Right? Go and stand there. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, and I, and I do feel bad for Art here, right? He, he absolutely has been on the rough end of it. Um, and, and, and if you were going back and looking at this and reanalyzing it and saying, what could you do differently? It's tricky. Really, really tricky. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, one of the things you might say is just set the Rat Ogre one square back from where it was. So when he does double go for it, double go for it, it's safe. Yeah. He then doesn't get into this situation. Yeah. yeah and that's a fine margin, right? It's a teeny tiny thing you wouldn't even think about. But if you go and analyze some previous games, you might find... I can't leave the Rat Ogre there. I have to be slightly further. I have to put it in a different way. So analyzing setups, it can be super powerful. Yeah, something something I'm going to do with my Rat Ogre <laughs> instantly from watching this game. Yeah, make sure make sure they can't... Uh, I mean, to be fair, he could have, like, GFI'd in the first turn as well, right? Rushed. Could have yeah. rushed in the first turn as well. Um, but... Goed for it. <laughs> yes. <laughs> So, yeah, to be fair, yeah, rushed is better. That sounds better than gone for it, doesn't it? I guess. But, uh, oh. Interesting, interesting. Is that's I guess that's something to think about. Yeah, no rushes and then two rushes, so set up eleven back, so you can't even be based like that. Yep. Maybe maybe you should have set up there. Yeah. Interesting. Drop blitz. Get it. Dead not link. Not yet, not yet. Okay, yeah, dead Yeah, dead not yet. <laughs> I've seen this game. <laughs> dead not <-snotling. laughs> It's got four players left. No, three? Yeah, four. Four. One, one's... Uh, I lost him there. He's, uh, so, it's, uh, 12. It's more than a full team now. 12 players. <laughs> 12 <Jesus>. players out. <laughs> oh, my goodness. What what percentage chance do you give Art now? Is it is it... Are we into zero point something? I, yeah, I would say so. Yeah, there's got to be a point. There's got to be a point percentage there, right? Like, just something... Well, I guess disconnection from Anarion, right? The, uh, the <laughs> oh, rules wow. of the tournament are, I believe... <laughs> are we really going there? Or are we? <laughs> yeah. We're going to... What's our, we'll see what up his sleeve. Or disconnection. <laughs> He's running around to his house just pulling out his internet cables. <laughs> that, that That's definitely giving out the most EV at this point. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, because now he can't physically stop the score. No, 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 uh, quite, uh, quite the contrary. Now he can physically fly to Sweden, <laughs> pull, pull the Ethernet cable and stop the score. <laughs> it's only physically he can stop the score now. 
<laughs> yep. So he's going to have a one turn chance uh, with four players. Plus KOs. Plus KOs, yeah. So maximum seven players for a one turn, which is enough. Which is enough for a good run of one turn, but he's got no rerolls to do it. And he only gets, you know, them back on a 50% on each player. So he might not even get the gutter runner. And it looks like he has not got the gutter runner. So there's a riot, uh, timeout as it's called now. With that's it. Five players. A yeah, timeout with five players, you know, technically gives him a chance. And there, there is a chance, right? That Dang. Whatever that chance is, 0 0.01%. And then he wins the toss in overtime, scores with the gutter runner in two turns, and then uh, in our only scores one back. And then he wins the toss. So there is a chance, and it is about 0 0.001%. God, we're, we're optimists, so right? we're real <laughs> optimists here. I love this. Yeah, there's always a chance. There's always, there's always a, chance. a chance. With every turn comes endless possibilities. And funny enough, if Inarin was 1 0 up, he would have, you know, already, it, would have, it should it's have been dumb. 0%, you know? Yeah. 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 It, it, someone in the chat says that's a bit of a dicing at the start. I, the the Ratogre getting killed on his first hit, absolutely. But what people are missing is that that Ratogre is then going to get stomped on until it left the field. Yeah. So I think that was the case. I also, uh, Artemis didn't re roll a block, which I called, you know, you've got to re roll that. And, and when Jimmy counted it out, he left himself four plus two plus to get into where he needed to get. Yes, he failed the two, but he was 25% likely to fall over right there, right? 25% of the time yeah. when you just re-roll the block and you don't. Mm -hmm. And that, those sorts of things, uh, I think, yes, the dice have been against him, right? But I also think that there have been errors that caused the dice to then exacerbate the problem. Yes. Well put. Well put. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that, that, that's what it always is, right? You know, Blood Bowl always comes down to dice and decisions, and, you know, we could all make better decisions. Like, like that's the thing, you know, no one, no one has ever played a perfect game of Blood Bowl, uh, full 16 turns or 24 turns. So there's always things you could do better. Um, and, you know, the dice are what the dice are, and the dice greatly favoured Inarion. <laughs> they yeah. did, and Inarion soars through to the next round in our competition. And sadly, we lose we lose Artemis out of out of the competition. I mean, fellas, are we doing? It's, it's harsh, but it was a it was a difficult situation. I think very early on for Artemis, who was ultimately kind of pulling out fires most of the time. Yeah, absolutely. I, I uh, we 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 thought that he might just be able to do something, but now we can say Jimmy's got one right. Right? <laughs> Jimmy's yes. got one right. I can't believe, I can't believe it. <laughs> finally, it I had can't to believe it. It had to happen sometime, and it took this long, but finally we're here. Yeah. Oh, it feels good, doesn't it? it feels nice. It must How feel great feel? for you. How do you feel? It's it's amazing, honestly. This is my proudest day as a as a Blood Bowl analyst. <laughs> <laughs> I predicted what about eight fifty fifties, and finally got one right. <laughs> finally got one. I mean, this is the only thing he will get right, by the way. He's right back to square one after this. This is the one thing. So relish the moment for sure here. Um, but I mean, Inari, I mean let's, 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 let's talk about you know, Inari's performance there first and foremost. Obviously, things could have gone a bit differently, could have scored in that first half, didn't quite do it. Jimmy, tell me about that. How could that have been, how, how could he play, play that differently? Yeah, I mean, he just he just had to like knuckle down and make it 100% safe. It was it was kind of easy for him to make it safe and, and he just went for more max damage and then by going for that max damage, he left a very easy chance to sack the ball and, and then, you know, Okay, as it happened, the second half, the damage continued and, and he made it easily 1-0. But yeah, there was just really no excuses there. I guess he took his eye off the ball and, you know, kind of, you know, prematurely celebrated and just thought, I I've got this and he didn't have this. <laughs> yeah. At the yeah. time. I mean, when it comes to, I mean, we talked about Underworld as well being one of those teams that kind of, you know, Artemis played a lot a lot with them, but there are still those, those elements that need to be kind of fine-tuned to kind of be completely, you know, Almost, almost unbeatable in the way, and they, they, they still need developing. It's only a, a team that's been out for what, just a few months still. Um, what could be done, do you think, differently for Artemis moving forward to ensure things like that don't happen again? So his style has been very much gung ho ladder style, which is going to go and you know, kill things effectively. Uh, I think that the, the the best way to play Underworld is to play a fouling style with the support of the one turn. So you build the gutter in with sidestep, you put Juggernaut on the Rat Ogre, and you're just trying to play that way. And if you cause you know, damage with the Rat Ogre, great, but don't lean into it. Um, Eliod did it, and, and bizarrely he went out, but uh, yeah, Eliod was probably the, the, the top pick for the tournament overall. He got the right race, he got the right skill back on top of it. Um, yeah, that, that for me was where he would go differently. Yeah.
Totally. Uh, we should uh, have a look at the brackets, shouldn't we, as well? Let's see exactly how things stand here, because we are rattling through now. Uh, yeah, we've got two, two games down today, two more coming your way. Um, let's have a look at uh, the bracket and see exactly how things stand for you at home, in case you've just joined us. I want to have a quick look at this as well. Uh, this is our lower bracket. We saw our kind of winner's bracket earlier on today, uh, where Strider sadly came down after a defeat to Diomed, who is currently waiting in the grand finals tomorrow here. But as you can see, uh, Anarion uh, for Sweden goes through. Artemis representing the UK goes out of our competition and Anari on there waiting to see who will be facing them in the next round of the lower bracket. Will it be Call Troop or Hero? That is our next scheduled game here on the broadcast. The Battle of the Spanish. The Spanish Inquisition? Uh, Inquisition, yeah, sure. <laughs> that, 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 that works. That's a thing. Um, but I mean, it'll be interesting to see exactly how that kind of pans out later on. We'll talk about that very shortly. Let's have a look at the winner's bracket, though, first and foremost, uh, to see exactly uh, how we got to where we are. You can see there Diomed with the orcs waiting baying for blood there uh, in that kind of final map. I'm really kind of trying to sell this. Really, uh, really make it a big a big thing. And it is a, it is a big deal. Of course, this is, a, this is huge for Blood Bowl this season finals. Uh, you can see a diamond there. I mean, it's going to be interesting to see exactly who will face up against Diamond. Will it be Strider again? We'll have to wait and see, Andy. But for now, there are still uh, a few players left in this competition who are desperate for the opportunity to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Diamond in that in that grand final. Uh, absolutely. And, and I think what we might find is that Inarian has now got a bit of an edge because whoever he plays is going to have to play the game now and then they've got to play another game straight away against an Aryan. so an Aryan gets a little break you know, I imagine he'll want to sit and watch the game but for me if I'm playing as an Aryan here I want to go and spend a bit of time just away from the screen just go and chill get ready because you'll get more out of coming into that game fresh because the other opponent is not fresh so that, that's what I would would want to do here as yeah. an Aryan. Would you agree, Jimmy, as well? Do you think it's a big factor? Kind of, would, you, would you do the same thing kind of take some time away and just kind of relax for a moment? Would you deep, would you deep dive back in? Hundred percent. I would. I would completely check out, have a lie down and stuff. I've. I've been in the exact same situation. So as Andy in, uh, you know, community run tournaments. Uh, we have. We've had like one day tournaments, and in those kind of one day situations, having that break of a game is is just amazing, and it, it's a yeah. godsend to just be able to chill out and and not think about Blood Bowl for two hours. And yeah, he's gonna. He is gonna have a significant advantage. I would say, uh, yeah. mentally. May I suggest to you that you try one of the chocolate biscuits they have here? They've got some fantastic snacks here. We are, we are living the dream. There's a, a chocolate biscuit that just blew my mind. Oh, wow. It blew my socks off. I enjoyed well, it immensely. Uh, I'll find you. I saved you one each, actually. I'm not even joking. I saved you one each. Hang on, I've love been you. tied to this chair. I'm not allowed to leave. Really? <laughs> yeah. Okay, I unstrapped my leash a while ago. So I'm, 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 I'm free running. I'm free roaming. Um, but that is coming your way. Of course, we have uh, you know our big matchups coming up later on today. Um, that first, first of which being our, our Cal Troop versus Hero, which is going to come very very, very soon your way. And speaking of breaking and biscuits and snacks and such, let's go and get one. Let's go and get one. Let's just relax for a second here. We come back, refresh, bright eye, bushy tailed for that next lower bracket matchup. You do not want to miss it here on Blood Bowl 3 season finals. Come back here in a short period of time because it is all still to play for. Who will go through and meet up with Diamond in the grand finals tomorrow? We're going to find out shortly in this competition. Don't go anywhere. We'll see you in just a bit.